question is, can you stack IGF-1 LR3 and IGF-1 DES together? And the answer is yes, you can, definitely. And the reason why is because IGF-1 LR3 is systemic. So it's gonna circulate throughout your whole body for hours and that does things like supports recovery, it's gonna support muscle growth and it can also help with nutrient partitioning as well. Whereas IGF-1 DES acts shorter and is more local. So essentially the way that works is that you're gonna inject that directly into the area that you're say targeting that day during a workout. You know, if it's quads, hamstrings, glutes, biceps, for example, or if you're also using that uh, as a way to facilitate the healing of an injury, maybe you wanted to stack that with say BPC-157 or TB-500. That's also an example for how you may wanna consider using that. So real quickly in summary, LR3 is systemic, supports overall growth and recovery, and DES is more local recovery, maybe even injury site and repair. So as always, if you haven't already, please download my products. They are free discount code BB20 at Amino Asylum if you wanna get any of these peptides. Thank you.